Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make steak bites and gnocchi. This is one of my go-to easy meals. It's so quick to make, you can even prep stuff ahead of time, and it only uses a skillet and a pot, so it's easy cleanup too. And best of all, everyone in my family always loves it and they clean their plates. You'll need one pound of beef steak for this, and you can use several different types of steak, like sirloin, a ribeye even, or a New York strip steak. Today I'm using beef tenderloin, which is a more expensive cut, but here's a pro tip for you. Sometimes they sell them as pieces and tails, and you get a deal on them. You wanna cut your steak into bite-sized pieces. Not gonna lie, the tenderloin really is our favorite, and I just justify it by telling myself because I have run the calculations, it is cheaper than going through the drive-through. Trim off any unwanted gristle or fat and then transfer this all to a mixing bowl or you can even use a Ziploc bag. We're gonna put together a quick marinade starting with two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, which is the juice from about half of a lemon, then one tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Then you'll toss this all together. Then you wanna cover this and let it marinate in the fridge for an hour. I've gone as little as 15 minutes and as long as 12 hours, you do get more flavor, of course, the longer that it marinates, but sometimes you just need a quick meal. Bring a large pot of water to a boil, and in that we're gonna cook two pounds of packaged dried gnocchi. You could always make your own homemade gnocchi, but this is supposed to be a quick and easy meal. Just like pasta, fresh is always delicious, but dried works just fine. Cook the gnocchi according to the package directions and drain it well. The rest we're gonna do in a large skillet over medium high heat. I'm gonna add in half of the meat and get that searing. I'm only doing half of the meat at a time so that it doesn't crowd the pan. If you crowd the pan, you'll steam the meat instead of sear it. Once you get a nice sear going, remove them from the skillet and set them aside and cook the other half. Once all of the steak is seared, I turn the heat down to medium and return the rest of the steak to the pan. Then I add in two tablespoons of butter and get that melting. And add in two cloves of minced garlic. Give that a quick stir and add in our cooked drained gnocchi. Then we're just gonna let this cook and let those gnocchi sear for about three more minutes or so until the garlic is fragrant and you have just a little bit of browning on your gnocchi. You can serve this up as is or you can add in veggies like peas, asparagus, or broccoli. Those all work really well. I'm gonna garnish mine with a little bit of freshly chopped parsley, and my family loves it when we spoon on some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow, and check out the rest of my videos where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.